That was fine. Let's not do that again. Can you make it to that cargo dock? Yeah. Yeah, you think there's air on board? Ellie's SOS is coming from somewhere inside, so let's hope so. Also, I'm glad my oxygen refilled while we were spinning around that damn thing. Of course, now it's telling us about the whole airometer. We can actually fill it up with these guys. They'll grab it. Just for demonstrative purposes. Alright, and I believe we're going in there. It looks like the power's out everywhere. There's Course. no way to activate the cargo doors. I think there's a manual crank on the other door. See it? Right. Maybe. I'll see if I can get inside. Also, you may hear a throbbing noise. Well, Just ignore that for now. <laughs> Dust. Any sign of Ellie? No. Looks like I'm the first person through here in a long time. I'll try to open the cargo doors. Hang on. You also might notice the mechanic of us opening doors using our uh, TK module. That's a consistent theme. Also, a frame! Hmm, what could it mean? You want me to go in there? Well, we all know what to do. I think we actually have to go in there. But, we'll have a little look around first. Not there. This one. God damn you, Isaac. Because I'm not looking directly at it. I don't know what to do. Erg. It's getting hard to breathe. How much longer? Yeah, we're working as fast as we can. Mark's really pale. I can't stop the bleeding. Shit. Hey, Isaac, okay, meet me at the door. I can let you in from this side. All right, okay. Dad, get in here. Give me a hand. Helping. Isaac, Ellie's SOS is coming from deeper inside this ship, but I can't leave Rosen and Locke. Send me the coordinates. I'll go check it out. Here you go. You don't stray too far. That's an order. Okay. Also, you look creepy as fuck, Carver. I'm glad you're just some kind of figma in my imagination. Otherwise, I'd be scared. Anything cool up here? Hmm. I remember looking up here on my first playthrough, so maybe there's some stuff. Staff. Also, you'll notice that we're picking up some weird things like transducers and semiconductors, although you're not seeing the names. You'll find out what those are for in just a bit. Human remains, eh? Neat. Glad we have coffins just laying all over the place. Oh my goodness, a power node! That's not a power node! An upgrade circuit that says plus one reload. What could it mean? It's a dead end. Looks like someone shut a bulkhead for quarantine. Oh, can we cut through it? No. It's too thick. But it might cycle open if I can power it up. That did it. And there's a bench on the same circuit. Bench? With all the parts lying around here, I bet I can make a better weapon than this one. Yeah, yeah, smart thinking. That's right, in this game, we could make our own weapons. It's kind of its thing. Kind of a big thing, actually. Let's take a look up here before we go over to the bench. Is there any stuff that's cool up here, like an artifact or more stuff? Thankfully, the components like the transducers and whatnot don't actually take up any space. I'm gonna go over there simply because there could be an artifact. I could pull it over that box over with my TK module, but I can't do the same to artifacts, especially if I can't see them. And to be honest, I don't think I ever went up here either. I did explore, but man, I see what I've missed. Well, there's two boxes. Ammo and heal skis, I'm actually full. Well, that's not a problem, I'll just drop it over the side. Pick it up after I hit the bench. Because uh, benches are a place we can actually store items now. There are no kiosks to buy things, by the way. Which is a pretty large difference. So we insert the Tesla core, the frame, that. 
now we have access to our super awesome Planet Cracker Plasma Cutter. Because, of course, we did finish uh, Dead Space 2 on multiple things. And now we have to go through all this. Let's actually just skip that. Yes, fuck your tutorial. tutorial. I'm playing on Impossible. Do you think I'm a fucking scrub? Look at all those wonderful things. Let's go ahead and actually just store them. All right. And now to show you how weapon crafting works. Uh, we can uh, mess with a existing weapon, or we can make a brand new one. Let's go ahead and go to make a brand new one. We have two sorts of frames. We have uh, standard frames, and we have compact frames. But large frames, or the standard frames, are for two-handed weapons, your larger weapons. So we can make, like, a Tesla core here, and it will make a line gun, which is pretty swell. Also, this is the most unintuitive interface I've ever seen in a video game. Like, how would you think you get out of this screen? Maybe you don't want to make a weapon. You have no idea? Well, neither did I. You actually go in here and go remove and dismantle. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's... We'll make a new weapon in just a moment. I just want to get this planet cracker in that spot. And actually... I would like it in my first slot, because it's kind of my primary weapon. At least for the first portion of this game. Let's go here. This one has a compact standard frame, like I said. And maybe instead of standard, I may meant heavy for the two-handed weapons. Let's go ahead and make a heavy weapon, yes. With a military engine. And by default, it makes a... The tips determine what kind of gun it is. So right now it's a durable semi-automatic rifle with a fairly large clip, which it might as well be called. Uh, one thing I haven't pointed out is ammo works a lot differently in this game than it did in the previous games where you had to get, like, plasma ammo and you had to get pulse coils and uh, contact ammo. Now there's only one kind of ammo, and it goes into every gun, no matter if it's a plasma cutter, a pulse rifle, or... A contact beam. They all use the same clip through the power of science. <laughs> also, we can have weapons on weapons, so let's go ahead and do that. So now we have a line gun underneath a uh, an assault rifle, which is pretty swell. And we can also upgrade our weapons. We have currently one chip, which we got out of that box. It'll make it so things go faster. Uh, with, there's also attachments. We don't have any. We know how to make a few. But we don't have anything really worthwhile. What kind of tips can we make? Nothing great. We can make one that makes a shotgun. We can make one that has an assault rifle with spread fire. Eh. I think we'll stick with what we have here, which just ain't that great. But it's the best we can make at the moment. That will change. And we'll go ahead and leave it right there. We also have blueprints. These will give you, like, new tips and parts. But, as you can see, we do not have the resources to make any of this garbage. And it is garbage, for the most part. Is there anything else I want to do? Let's go ahead and actually store this. And that'll be fine. Let's finally get back on the road here. Where... Where did that health drop? There it is. So here's our new weapon. It's not that bad, all things considered. We'll try it out for a little bit. It's not going to be as ammo efficient as our plasma cutter, but we have to make some co some consolations. Also, that sounds pretty loud in my head, so I'm going to turn down my TV real quick. There we go. I have the music turned down, by the way, because it is a bit oppressively loud by default. Which is a problem whenever you're being snuck up on. Alright. Not a whole lot of action in here. Also, I find it funny that Isaac wants a weapon immediately. It's like he knows. That one's a little crusty. That one's a little crusty. That is why I will be using the plasma cutter almost entirely. 
I want to be effective in combat. Fuck you, crusty pieces of shit. Okay. Don't hit where I'm aiming. It's not like that's important. Hey guys, we're in trouble. What is it? What's going on? I just got jumped by what's left of the crew. What? No one could have survived out here that long. They didn't survive. They got turned into those things. What? Okay. What do we do? You keep your weapon ready and you stay the hell away from the ventilation ducts. If they get close, you the You got that? I said you got that. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So as demonstrated right there, the, uh, the guns, even on, like, uh, normal difficulty, are like fucking pea shooters, to be perfectly honest. Especially at this stage of the game, once we get more upgrade ships, they'll be a little more effective, but they are just the worst, really. The plasma cutter is your friend. So I grab some of these. Could be useful. Oh my god! It's one damn things. Get down from there. Rawr. Well, he did. Thank you for showing us once again how worthless you are, Stasis. Ah, Stasis. Why are you such a disappointment? Hmm? Also, I love how he shrugged off that box. Oh, you don't mind that box, of course. You want the heavy box. Well, it helps if I hit you, too. Fucking stage lights. Rawr! Sit the fuck down. Come here, fella. There you go. TK is quite useful in this game. Especially against these harder targets. Anybody else want to drop from the ceiling like fucking Batman, hmm? Nobody? Oh, a thing! And this one's a, our first scaff artifact. Which of course stands for Sovereign Colonies, as fuck. From Admiral... Marjorie Graves, CMS Roanoke, all hands. I'd like to thank each and every crew member for taking part in this historic expedition. Never has there been a more worthy cause or more dire circumstances than those we face today. While most of you aren't cleared to view the full details of this mission, know this. Our hopes and dreams for a future are at stake. The fate of the colonies rests in your capable hands. Sovereign colonies as fuck. All right. Come get me. Come and get me. Are you, you're not going to come get me? Well, I see a couple of you rascals on the ceiling. Let's see. If I grab that box, can I get you down from there? There's a box. Bad. I took off your head with that. Hmm. Neat. He's too far. Oh, I was going to say, he's too far away from me to take off his little th slabs. There you go. No. No. Yes. Bad. Still bad. Let's try to hit the one in back. He wants to play ball. Sir, you can die now. You got hit with two things. That's your quota. Also, come here. I need your scrap metal. Listen, I'm gonna just shoot you in a second here. That's probably what the audience is waiting for. Hey, fella. Bad. Still bad. Man, this guy is just amazing. It reminds me that Muhammad Ali is now dead. Because <laughs> that was some serious boxing. Right there. Rate of fire. Increase. Oh my god. Three 
three goddamn impalements. Jesus, man. There's something called pride and something called wasting my time. Okay, of course you want me to go in there. There wasn't any hidden artifacts, were there? No. There's an elevator over there, but it doesn't work just yet. Because, of course, we need to turn it on. Power. to the crossover too. Take that thing coming! Sir, we're running low on ammo! Make a barricade! Just keep them out a little longer. I wish Isaac would have said, make a bridge! Get off your cross, make a bridge out of the wood and get over it. Wait, there's a thing. Uh, why are you not eating that? Is because we need to press alt first? There, I've flown. Now let me pick up my transducer. Oh my goodness. Also, I should mention, as you see up there at the top right, progress saving. This game does not have uh, save points like the last two games. The game just saves whenever it wants because fuck you. Right? Right. Er oh my god! That doesn't look like a regular space baby. It's like a space puppy. Great, and there's multiple space puppies. Come on, extend the tendrils. Sir, could you die, please? If it's not too much trouble. Fucking finally. Thank you. Also, that guy is a fucking coon's age away. I can snipe you with this. You keep trying it. I got cover and everything. Okay, that's one tendril. He's still ambling about. There you go. Finally. That's a bit of a hard combat right there. Uh, let's switch over to this gun real quick, because I can't stomp these guys. And like I indicated before, that's the only way you can get the stuff out of them. Although that guy appears not to have stuff. You had stuff. Is this guy holding out on me, or what? Where's the other one? The he already despawn? Things despawn really quick in this game also, which is very annoying. <laughs> Especially now that I have to stomp on every one of them to get out the goodies. Alright. Bring it down. Bring it down. Now you didn't have anything else, of course. See what we got in here. Uh, Mahad. Apologies for excessive noise. Huh. There's not much I can do short of sedating the entire canine, canine unit. So, those are, in fact, dogs that have been necromorphed. Just in case you didn't know. Also, everyone speaks in caps on the Roanoke. Sorry, the dogs need some exercise, sir! That is why they are barking so excessively. Also, Snake Eater! There we go. I think that's the largest uh, ladder in the game. At least it feels like it. Oh, well, I'm sure there won't be any action yeah. in here. Yeah, I'm here. All right, I think that's holding them for now. Good. The SOS is coming from directly above me. And it looks like I found the ship's primary generator. If I can get power going, it should unlock the crossover for you. All right, what about you? 
Uh, there's an elevator here that goes straight up the spire. I'll meet you at Ellie's coordinates. Neat. Alright, so we have this thing right here that we need to fuck with. Restore power to ship. Okay. So you look around and you go, oh, there's thing bombs. Just wondering what the scripting moment's gonna be. As soon as that thing turns once. Space puppies! Will you stop ambling? Is there another one? Or is he the only one? Yeah, I think it's best during this sequence only to half turn it. Because of what happens. How they are scripted to come. Yep, after a full turn, you get more enemies. You can see them ambling about. Come on! Ow, dick face! God damn! I don't have... I don't have the fucking stopping power, or... Bullshit to actually make any progress. Oh, great, we get to do this all again. I wonder when it's actually gonna put down these save states. Ah. I love when my weapons do jack shit for damage, folks. It is definitely the best. Show me those fucking tendrils, you bastard. Stop being a. Come on, do it. You're annoying as fuck, do it. Thank you for dying. Alright, I wonder if I could keep this open. I don't think that'd really be the best idea to climb back down there. Maybe. There's not really a good system here. A lot of this game is designed for two players because, as you may have noted, I didn't tell you before, this game does have a co-op aspect. Let's try this way this time. Will you die already? Fucking shit! Look how long that stasis lasted, by the way. Oh, great. Oh, that's one! Okay, it seems their legs can be taken off. I'm used to later in the game where you pretty much get shut down trying to bring people down by their legs. So that's what I should be doing. Any new targets? Nothing yet? Anybody else? Some sounds mad. No one's jumping out of the walls just yet. There at least is stuff. I wonder if there was another one of these little nooks I didn't see before. No, it doesn't appear. Only over here. Just trying to keep my eyes open for, of course, my beloved artifacts. Anybody else? No. This is where the metagame comes in. I'm like trying to find where they're scripted to appear. Can't hear them.
Listen, guy, you can die. Thank you. Appreciate it. Your things. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. It's good to know that every combat on this difficulty is going to be a fucking challenge. Only two of them this time, though. I was expecting three like the first time. Activate? Yes. Ah, oh, great. More puppies. Hey, hey, we have power. The crossover just opened up. You love them. Rose and Out it. Stay put. Isaac Carver will rendezvous with the spire. Got it. Die! Refuses to fall down. I'd like to say this experience is unique to impossible difficulty, but it isn't. It feels like these an enemies are taking just as much damage as they did on normal. They're just kicking a lot harder. On a normal difficulty, they're pretty much like. It's pretty much like the swatting of kit uh, kittens whenever they're tearing into you. Ah, oh, the elevator action. Okay. You people are not going to kill me. Presumably. Oh god, you found us. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> I knew you were too stubborn to die. <laughs> Captain, is this him? Oh, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's him. Isaac Clark. Great to meet you. Austin Buckle. Marker Ops. This here is General Versantos, our little lady with the big brain. If it's true you can decipher the marker script, this mission might still have a chance. Isaac, thank you for coming. Like I had a choice. I know, I'm sorry. But I have so much to tell you. All right, come on, we have to get, get out of here now. No, not yet. Isaac, we need to stop the marker. The trail ends at the Admiral's quarters. She'd written marker scroll all over the walls. The answers are in there. I know it. We cannot leave until we know what it says. Yeah, well, then let Isaac handle the translating. We're leaving now. I got Buckle, you get Santos. Let's go. Oh. Go on. Take care of your crew. They need you more than I do. So I hope you weren't too attached to Ellie uh, there, Isaac, because apparently she's already found a new man. 